Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you step by step how to create your own DIY Valentine mug with decals using your Cricut machine. I'm using dollar store mugs, which makes these mugs easy and very cheap to create. Now let's get started. So I'm starting in Design Space and I, I pulled up these images already. Um, this cute little gnome guy, I purchased him from Design Bundles. I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in him. And then these ones I bought quite a few years ago. I'm not honestly sure where I got them from. It was either Design Bundles or even Etsy. Um, but I pulled this one in because I thought it would be kind of cute to go with the gnome. Um, so I'm just going to take this double arrow and make it a little bit smaller so I can kind of go next to it. And I was thinking of giving it just a little bit of a curve. Uh, unfortunately, I only have three red mugs that I bought from the dollar store. That's all that they had at the time. So I'm going to be working with just three of them. And I think my favorite definitely is this little guy, this little gnome and the be mine. So I think I'm going to make two of these and then I'll make one of these. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with this in a minute. So I'm going to actually duplicate this one. So I have it selected. I'm going to hit the duplicate button and it's going to be over here. So. I think I'm gonna put it up at the top maybe. So I'll have one down at the bottom and then one at the top. I think that is super cute. Um, but the only thing I have to do is, I'm gonna see if I can maybe, I, I don't know if I could like attach it here maybe. You can still see the E and make it a lot easier to weed things out. Um, I can see here it's touching a little bit. So I think I'm actually gonna leave it just like that. So the next thing you wanna do is um, you can change the color, obviously. I think since my mugs are red, I think I might keep one black and then I might do one uh, a white color. But the next thing I'm gonna do is select both images, the Be Mine and the Gnome, and I'm gonna weld it. And the reason I welded it instead of attached is because if you've ever cut anything out that was attached like this and it wasn't welded, you will see the little cut marks in between each one of these pieces. So your best bet is to weld it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one too right away just in case I forget to do it later. So I have both Im images selected. I'm gonna go to weld. So these are both connected. So the last thing I wanna do is just change the color. Like I said, I want one black and I think I want one white. So I'm gonna go up to the color box up here and I'm gonna change that to white. So these are finished except for the sizes. So the next one I'm going to do is this XOXO and then the lips. So these are two separate ones, but I'm like, this is really cute, but it needs something else. So I went and I found these lips in my uploaded section. So I'm gonna put these together and I was thinking on maybe uh, turning them a little bit. So with them both selected, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a curve. And I think I might shrink these up a little bit. You don't need that big of lips, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna put this there. My only concern is the little lines in between here of trying to weed those out. So I'm trying to make it so it's just a little bit bigger that it might be a little bit easier for me to weed out. So I'm gonna turn this maybe a little bit more but I definitely like these. This guy, like I said, I'm not exactly sure where I got it. Maybe design bundles a year ago or so. So I'm in love with these three. I'm actually gonna delete this one cause I'm not gonna worry about that one. Okay, so the last thing for this is I want the X's and the O, the X's and the lips to be the same color. So to do that, you can tell that this is already all attached together. I'm gonna go up to the ungroup box up here and I'm hit the ungroup button. So I'm gonna take the X, the two X's, I'm gonna hold down the command button. So I've got, I have both X's here and I'm gonna change it to, let's see, I think this is the red color of the lips. So that should be the same. So it's gonna cut out these two separately and then these two separately. I'm excited to see how that's gonna turn out, like with the vinyl. Yeah, Emma said she wants to see how the lips are gonna turn out. So the last part on this is I'm not gonna attach anything because if I do, it's gonna change the lips differently. I'll show you what I mean. So if I select both of these and I go down to the attach button, it does that. So I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna go ahead and push the back button and I'm gonna leave it the way it is. So the two X's are gonna cut out with the red lips and then the two O's are gonna cut out with the black part here. So I'm finished with this. Actually, 
you know what, I'm jumping the gun. I need to resize this. So the way I resize mine and figure out the sizes of my stuff is I just take a green mat and I hold it up to whatever I'm doing. So I'm gonna grab my green mat right now while we're doing this, and I'm gonna hold it up to my mug and see how big I want it. And looking at my mug, unfortunately, it's not um, the same dimension going up and down. It's kind of smaller at the bottom and bigger at the top. So I'm just gonna actually hold my mat up to it, and it's about, let's see, almost a four. So I'm gonna do three and a half by three and a half and see what that looks like. So with the selected, I'm gonna go up to the unlock box up here and then just type in 3.5 by 3.5. And we'll see what that looks like. Oh, not too bad. That's pretty cute. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Unlock it, 3.5 by 3.5. And then we're gonna switch and do this one. So we're gonna unlock it and then change it to 3.5 by the 3.5. And I had this trouble with the last video. It's unlocked and it keeps changing on me for some reason. I'm not sure. Does anybody know why it does that? It's unlocked, but it still changes my number. Oops. So watch it. Do it and it'll change it again. No, stop. Ugh. See, it's unlocked here and it still wants to do it. Sorry, guys. Learn with me. Kind of tell me what I'm doing wrong if you guys know. But it's unlocked and it keeps changing. Here we go. Okay, finally. So this together is the three and a half by three and a half. These are two set for to the three and a half. By all means, please measure your mugs because your mugs might be different size than mine. So I wish I was able to buy more of these, but they only had the three at the dollar store. So I'm gonna work with these three. So this is finished. The only thing I have to do since I resized it, recolored it, is go to the make it button. And then it's gonna show me what the preview, preview looks like, which is amazing, I love it. So here's the two O's that we were cutting out. I'm gonna move this a little bit further away from each other that I can get my scissors in between here. And then here are my lips and my X and my O. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of space in between. So I'm gonna start with the white one. I'm gonna go to the continue button and then it's gonna ask me what material I wanna set at. So I'm just using regular Oracle 651, the permanent vinyl. So these are my favorites that I had favorited. And I always use this stencil vinyl here. And I don't know, I think my uh, blade is really dull. So I actually go to the pressure here and I do more because sometimes it doesn't cut all the way through to my vinyl. So you can either replace your blade or you can just try the pressure. For right now, I'm just doing more pressure to see if that does it, which has been working for me. I'm just trying to troubleshoot things instead of going out and buying a new one. So I'm going to cut this out, I'll weed it out, and then I'll show you the next step of putting it onto your mug. Alright guys, I made another boo-boo. I share my camera with my daughters. They have their own blog called Triplet Blogs, and it was in slow-mo again, unfortunately. So everything that I was just taping, you guys did not see. So I started the XOXO on here, and I kind of went up higher for the X, down a little bit lower for the O, up high for the X, and down for the O. And I was going to wait to show you the mouth. So here's the mouthpiece. And for the red, I actually used the HTV... I'm sorry, I use the glitter vinyl, um, so this is a little holographic and then a little bit of glitter. And then I also have this guy, the little gnome, and I have this part. So I was doing all of it in white, as you remember, but this white was really bad. I don't know what kind of vinyl I have for it, but I need to get rid of it. It was so hard to weed. So uh, my Be Mine didn't cut out, so I cut this out in red as well. And then another thing that I was showing you guys in slow-mo was I did this one. So it's the Be Mine and the little gnome on it. So I'm going to show you how to do that again, but forgive me for that. I need to purchase my own camera, I guess. So um, I'm just taking a piece of transfer tape um, um, that I already had cut out and I'm just going to put it on top of the lips here and I'm going to use my squeegee and work really hard and push really hard on this to get the file off and I always like to work upside down to make sure I get all the pieces off and then I'm going to take the mouth and kind of line it up where I want it so I'm going to put this kind of maybe on an angle a little bit it doesn't have to be perfect because it's the way you want to do it so there that one is. I'm just going to use my fingers and get the bubbles and stuff out of here. And then once you got it on, you just want to peel back your transfer tape slowly 
to make sure that nothing comes off. And one thing I did say when it was on slow-mo is wash your um, cups, your mugs first. I used some alcohol and some paper towel and I, I wiped it really well to clean it. And I actually washed these in the dishwasher before I did this. So, oops, got a piece of transfer tape stuck there. So this one is finished, the XOXO. And then also this one, the Be Mine. I really do love this. I was kind of hesitant on doing black on red for Valentine's Day, but I actually really do like this one. So I just have one more left here. Here's the white guy, the white gnome with the Be Mine. So I'm just going to finish him really quick. So I'm going to take a piece of transfer tape and cut it off. I just use this contact transfer tape and it's less expensive and it's not as sticky because I don't need it to be too sticky. So I'm just going to cut a piece off of here. Kind of guesstimate how big I need it and then just take the edge off which sometimes it gives me problems there we go oops thought I had it there we go and then got some dog hair on here then you just want to take your transfer tape put it over your file use your squeegee really well and make sure you get your file on there. Not only are you making your file go onto your transfer tape, but you're also making sure that you get any bubbles out. So go ahead and flip it over. I like to flip it upside down. See if any pieces come off. Perfect. And then because we're working with a curved surface, one thing I like to do is actually take my scissors and just cut. I'm actually gonna trim away all of this extra here. But one thing I like to do is just go in and cut little notches in here and then that will help you be able to you know push this and get it on properly rather than it being one big piece because it's round it's a rounded surface so that's just a little tip you can do it or you don't have to do it but it just makes it a little bit easier if you just give it a little bit of little notches in between here making sure that you're not nicking your file itself so once you got it where you want it or how you have it just gonna want to place it on here and kind of eyeball it where you want it to go you don't want to make you want to make sure it's not so close to the handle kind of more in the middle maybe um, but I'm just gonna place it right here and then I'm gonna work my way down and then here's where the little notches come in handy now you can push it each way and the transfer tape will give a little bit more than it would if it was just flat so I'm just going to take it and I'm trying not to get any bubbles or any wrinkles in here. So I'm just taking it and pushing it with my fingers. And it feels pretty good. I don't think I have any bubbles in here. But you never know until you peel it off. So once you get it on really well, take your time and push it on. You want to take back your transfer tape. And this is a little bit more difficult if you do cut it because it's going to be in pieces now. But just take your time and pull it back. Make sure you don't pull any of your design up. Oh, I like this one better. It's much cuter when it's white. So, um, one thing I can see already is there is a few bubbles down here. I don't know if that shows up on camera. But the way I like to do is just take your weeder and carefully go under where you were just, where your bubbles are. And lift it up gently without pulling your... Or ripping your file so that it's fixed there or another way if you have more than just a little bit there is you can take a hair dryer on low heat go over it and be careful with your fingers because it's hot and just push it and that will push the bubble out as well that's why I also do it too so this one is finished with the gnome now we just have the be mine part which I really love so I'm just going to take another piece of transfer tape that I had here previously and then just go over it with the scraper again and then again I like to work backwards make sure I get everything off because see if I pull I can see it I didn't get that piece so it just makes it easier for me there that's pretty too the way it is hey so just find the front and this one I'm not too worried about um, cutting the sides of it, so you just want to figure out where you want to put it. I think I'm going to put it, where did I put that one? So I put this one up on the left hand corner, so I might put this, I kind of like it down here. I think I'll put it right next to them right here. 
Then again, just take it and smooth it with your finger. And there. These are so simple and so fun to make. I sold a, quite a few last year at the store that I sell up the street. So I'm gonna be making some more of these and trying to sell them there. So then when you're finished, you just peel back and it is done. Look at that. I love that one. I hope that shows up, but that's really pretty how that is there. So this would be a great gift for anybody or a Valentine's gift for somebody. Or like I said, if you're going to try to sell it, I would let this cure for, you know, 24 to 48 hours. Let the uh, vinyl be able to set to your cup and I would put instructions in here as well to Kind of tell people wash it by hand. Don't put it in the dishwasher I know people say that they can put it on the top rack But I've done that and it just comes off So I always like to leave a little note on the inside saying hand wash only don't put in the dishwasher Don't put in the microwave um, but that's what I do. So I love how these turned out. If you guys did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already as I have many more Valentine's Day things. Um, I did quite a few already, so if you want to go back and check those out, but I really love how these turned out. I like the white one a little bit better just because you can see it more. But also here is the XOXO in the mouth, and I love how these turned out. So please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and happy crafting, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create your own dollar store Valentine's Day mug. I had a lot of fun creating these and I know I will be creating some more soon. Have fun and as always, happy crafting everyone!